Hi, you guys. I'm so excited to share with you guys today. My name is Mary Beth Davis. I am a countess from Alabama, and I am here to share with you a little bit about how to sell without a following. So what I want to hear from you, drop below, what is your favorite product to share about? Maybe not necessarily your favorite product that you use, but your favorite product that you love to share about. Like you can't stop talking about it. Like if if somebody, like you just love to talk about it all the time. Tell me that below. Your favorite pro product to share. And I am going to share a little bit of some things that have worked for me over the last five years that I have been a Senegence distributor. Um, and hopefully these are gonna be things that you can take and apply to your business right away. Awesome. I'm seeing CCTM, Shadow Sense. I think Shadow Sense is up there for me too. I oh, I just love it. I feel like it's it's so different. It's just the best. All right. So, who am I? I am a former teacher. I never in a million years thought that I was going to do this full time and leave my teaching job, but here we are. Um 5 years later and um I'm going to give you guys some insights on selling without a following. I'm going to shut these uh, comments off just for a little bit. <laughs> so, but keep telling me what's, what's your favorite product to share about. Okay. So, um, I always feel personally, and this apparently is a personality thing. Um, I feel sometimes the need to preface with why you should listen to what I have to say. And apparently that's a D personality thing, which I didn't know. <laughs> I am a D. Um, but I want you to know why I can speak on this topic to you. So um, I have been in, for the last three years, I have been in top 10 sales globally. Um, and I will not say that did not happen overnight. That was not an easy thing. That took a lot of time to get there. Um, a lot of effort, a ton of consistency, but I want you to know that because I'm able to produce sales numbers that are high without a large following. Okay, you guys, I have 1,700 followers on Instagram. It's not a lot. And I think I did a follow train once and y'all, that doesn't work. So <laughs> a bunch of those people don't even pay any attention to me. Um, I do have 1,800 people in my Facebook group which may seem like a lot to some people, but keep in mind that was over a five year period that I have, you know, grown that group. So neither of those numbers are really things that are, you know, that's not a large following. That's not, I don't have a ton of eyeballs on me at all times, right? So hopefully you're kind of relating to that and you can, you feel like, yeah, that's me. Okay. I'm sure there are people on here who have a lot more Instagram followers than me. Instagram is not necessarily my friend all the time, but that's okay. So what is the trick to longevity, to being able to do a business for five years and continue to grow? Um, I'm going to tell you a few of my favorite tricks, okay? So basically, I have done the same things over and over and over and over. I am extremely consistent. I am extremely regular. And I do the things that work over and over. And the things that don't, I change them up. So I'm going to give you five things that have really helped me to focus my energy, to um, focus my efforts. And um, hopefully these are going to be things that are going to help you guys up your sales goals, um, up those numbers, and um, hopefully things you can apply right after you hop off this live, okay? And that's what I'm going to encourage you to do. So first thing I want you to always be doing is being a teacher. Now, this is really easy for me to say. <laughs> right? Because that's what I was trained to be. I was a teacher for eight years um, before I um, started, before I, I stopped teaching and started to do Senegence full-time. So, okay, you're like, yeah, Maria, that's easy for you to say because you were a teacher once. But you too can be a teacher. Here's the idea behind that. We are super lucky because we have a really, really uh, marketable product products that are really easy to share and are really easy to wow. So if you are, if think about another direct selling company or social selling company, 
it's harder for them to come up with creative ways to share their products, uh, creative ways to use their products. If it's like a clothing company, you put it on, right? You put on the clothes. Maybe there's some ideas about how to match them together. If it's a, a candle company, you light the candles, right? Do you get, do you get my point? It is hard to be creative in different companies and we are super lucky in that aspect that we can show off all of these products all day long and we can wow people all the time. So I want you to put your teacher hat on, even if you're not a teacher, and I want you to be a teacher and be in that, that teacher mindset. So show your customers how. If they look at you and you do a video and they're like, there is no way I could do that. I can promise you they're not going to buy that shadow, right? They want to see something that's easy to use and something that you're showing them how to do it. They're going to feel confident and they're going to want to jump in. It's going to be easier for them to jump in. But showing them how also means accurate representations. So good lighting, right? You Not a lot of distractions. Try, of course, it's fine if your kids want to pop in a live video every, every now and then, but talking them through step by step and making it really easy for them. So giving them baby steps, right? When I'm doing a shadow tutorial, I'm talking about windshield wiper motion, okay? And I'm talking about why we bring our color underneath. Like things that you might be showing them every single day, but someone might be watching your video for the first time and they're gonna be like, wow, that shadow blended really easily, okay? So make it easy for them and then do it a lot. So do it over and over and over and over until you feel like a broken record because not everybody is seeing every tutorial or demo that you do. They're missing a lot. So if they missed your one last week, now you're doing it again this week. Maybe they'll catch it this week, but maybe not. They might not catch, right? Okay. Everything, it depends on when they're online or when they're seeing or what, when they're checking their apps or whatever. So be teaching the same thing over and over, but be teaching it in different ways. So I love to do sped up tutorials where I include text and maybe a voiceover. And that's for the person who just has maybe a short attention span and they just want to see it done quick. They just want to see it start to finish. I love doing live videos because they get to know me, they get to connect with me and they can ask questions, right? That's a big deal. They can drop a question and be like, how in the world did you do that? And I can respond to them in real time. Um, I love the graphics that are like... Um, a step-by-step -step shadow tutorial. Some people are super visual. Some people are auditory learners. I am an auditory learner, so I love listening to things. But if you're just teaching in one specific way, you're only gonna be reaching one person. And you've heard people say that a million times, but are you actually applying that? Okay, so you're putting your teacher, teacher hat on. All right, second thing, never stop the cycle of wow book demo direct. If you've ever heard me train before, you have probably heard me say, do not let the party train drop. Do not drop the party train. Do not let the train stop, okay? Because if it does, it is going to be bad. It is going to be trouble. Now, for those of you who are in home demos or you're saying kudos to you, it's not my jam. It's not my strength. Um, Facebook parties are how I've built my entire network. I have done over 650 Facebook parties in the past five years. And that is how I get new customers. I get new people in my VIP group. I get new faces. Um, that's how I grow my team. And you have to figure out how you're going to keep that cycle of wow book demo direct going. If Facebook parties aren't your jam, that's okay. But you need to figure out then how you're demoing the product. Okay. How are, and that's different than wowing. Okay. This is wowing and like doing a shadow tutorial. That is a demonstration, but that's not a demo. A demo is an in-person demo or, a, or an online beauty event or something where you're bringing new faces and you're growing your network and growing your customer base. So that's part of the longevity of this business is getting in that cycle and never getting out. I So for the past five months, there has never been a month where I have done less than five demos in a month. Normally, I'm doing 10 to 15, and but that is a very intentional choice because I know that that has direct results. So never stop 
the cycle of Wild Book Demo Direct. And part of that for me is that I have certain actions that trigger me to offer someone um, a party, an online beauty event, an in-person demo, um, a makeover, whatever it is. So I offer everyone a party because who doesn't want free stuff? Our pro we know they're going to love our products, right? So it's going to be easy for them to share it with, share them with their friends. So I offer it to everybody. And my personal trigger is when, um, as soon as I send someone an invoice and I'll say, thanks so much for your order. Um, I hope you love it. Do you want to grab a date for your own beauty event where, you know, you're going to get X, Y, and Z and it's going to be so super easy. Here's your responsibilities. Most of my hostesses earn X amount. I have these dates open. Do you want to grab one? And a ton of times they're like, oh yeah, of course they do because they just ordered something, right? They're going to love it. Another trigger that I have for offering um, a party is um, when I'm doing a follow-up. So you've heard fortune in the follow-up. That is so true, y'all. I followed up with somebody this morning that I hadn't followed up with in a while, and I think she ordered five different Lip Sense colors. And I was kicking myself. I was like, why did I not follow up with her like a couple months ago, right? So it's true. Fortune is in the follow-up. But that's always a trigger for me. When I'm following up and I'm in Messenger or I'm in a text message with that person, I'm always going to scroll up in our conversation. And first of all, I'm going to see, did she do a beauty event for me? And if she didn't, I'm going to say something like, oh my goodness, how have we not done a beauty event for you yet? Because that's truly how I feel. Like everybody gets one, right? Oprah, you get a car, you get a car. Everybody gets a party, you guys, because who doesn't want free stuff? I want free stuff. And guess what? Uh, people, people would love not to have to pay full price for these cosmetics because they're kind of expensive, right? We know the value, but they're going to love getting a discount on them. So, um... So keep, keep that going and figure out a system that's going to trigger you to offer it to everybody, okay? When people comment on my posts um, or they, they comment something and they're like, oh, I love that color, I'll immediately go to Messenger and I'll be like, let's see. And I'll look at our past conversation. I'll be like, oh, I have not done a demo for them yet. Here we go. Or I just forgot and we did it like six months ago. That's okay. It's time for them to do another one every six months. It's totally fine. If they're open for it, we're doing it every six months. Okay. All right. Next point. Don't forget the wow factor. This is really important because especially when you've gotten into this business and been in this business for a while, it's easy to forget the wow factor. Now, this is obvious, right? This is obvious. But the other day I was getting ready to take off my makeup and it looked flawless like 10 hours later. And I was like, how is that possible, right? So I quick like got on my stories and I was like, I'm so sad to take this off, you guys. Look at this, this makeup lasted me all day. Those are the things that other, that our, com our competitors and other brands, they're not doing. And you need to utilize the fact that so many of our products are wowing. So are you doing a CCTM on half your face and CC and no CCTM on the other side? That's a wow factor, right? Are you doing a personal picture of mascara on one eye and under sense and mascara on the other eye and then looking up? And you guys, did you know if you turn your camera upside down, it's like a whole new angle. It's like a whole new world with your lashes. It's crazy. Turn your phone upside down and take the picture like that. And you're going to be sharing a wow factor with your customers, which is look at how this undersense adds instant length and volume to your lashes, okay? Now, of course, before and afters of our lash growing serum, like that's incredible. That is a wow factor, but utilize that, you guys, because that is what sets us apart from other companies. And when you're trying to get new customers, the point is what are you gonna say that is going to push them over the fence to come to your side and for them to essentially break up with their own, old, their old cosmetics. When I'm doing online parties, I always say that. I have a post that's like, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love your mascara? Let me tell you, most people don't love their mascara. And I'll just straight up say it. I'll be like, I think it's time for you to break up with your mascara. Well, guess what? We have a three month guarantee. So it makes it really easy for them, right? Utilize that too, you guys. Utilize that, that three-month guarantee. That's a really big deal. So 
What I try to do when I am uh, talking about this wow factor and I'm trying to really utilize that to our benefit, I'm, I always try to remember that I'm speaking to a newbie, whether it's a new person to my group, whether it's somebody who's never tried LipSense, whether it's a new follower, whether um, it's somebody who's maybe tried LipSense but none of the other cosmetics. I don't want to take for granted that they might know that this mascara grows your lashes, right? That it has a growth serum in it. We don't want to keep that a secret. That's something that I am going to talk about every single time I talk about our mascara because that is a major wow factor, right? Um, and I want you to think back to when you first started. So when you first started as a distributor, you were experiencing that wow factor. You were wowed by this lipstick. That's probably why you jumped in with us, right? So... Even though I've been doing this for five years, I am constantly reminding myself and reminding my viewers and my friends and my family and who I come in contact with about the wow factor because that sets us apart. And also, I'm trying to tell people, why is Senegens so different? We know in our heart of hearts, otherwise we wouldn't be here, right? That's part of the reason why we are here because we know that it's different than any other makeup out there. But are you doing a good job communicating that to your customers? And that comes back to being a teacher, right? Communicate those facts. Um, okay, samples sell. And this is a really big deal. You guys, I can't tell you how many times I have had someone say, oh my word, that lip balm and that lip smooth that you put in my order, it's so good and I need it. When people put lip balm on their lips, they fall in love because it goes on like butter and it actually works. It actually does what we say it's going to do. That's another thing that sets us apart, you guys. Our products actually do what they say they're gonna do. So I put a lip balm and a lip smooth sample in every new customer's order every single time because those are two products that I know when you, when you get them on your lips, you are going to love how it feels. And most likely, you're going to get a returning a return customer who's then gonna be like, okay, I need that lip balm that you put the sample in. So I'm gonna give that to newbies. The facial resurfacer is another thing. When you feel that on your skin and you feel it after it's rinsed off and you feel your skin, it's like, what just happened? Facial resurfacer is a wowing product when you get that on your skin, you guys. I know it's expensive to send those out. I get it. But you got to spend money to make money. That no, Somebody said that a long time ago, right? I don't know who it was, but it's true. And it makes a really big difference. So utilize the samples that we have because we really do have a lot. I love to put them in bundles too. So when I'm putting bundles together, I'll put in like a wipe sample. Like we just finished a shadow sense week. And if they bought four shadows, I put in a wipe sample. Because I know when they use that Foops wipe sample on their face, they're going to notice the difference between that and the makeup remover that they were previously using. It's gonna feel different, it just does. So I like to put those in as free gifts because it is money coming out of my pocket, but better that than say like a scrunchie, they're not gonna come back to me and be like, can I get some more scrunchies, right? But they are gonna come back and be like, can I buy that facial resurfacer? Because that was insane, my skin is so soft, okay? So think about that when you're doing bundles, when you're doing freebies, um, and um, when you're doing prizes. Something that I really like to do too is like, um, if you're doing, maybe you're doing like a top comment or giveaway in your group or something like a, like a themed week and you're going to have a winner at the end, have the winner win like a cute makeup bag, but also a bunch of samples. And maybe there are some samples in there that they haven't tried. You guys, the multi brightening multivitamin treatment, that is a pricey sample, but that's one of those things that if somebody has um, pigmentation that they, that they don't really like and they want to get rid of it, that, that brightening treatment is it. Okay, so if you give them $10 in samples, most likely there's going to be something in there that they fall in love with. Okay, all right. My last point for selling without a following. This one can be tricky. Okay, set yourself apart from other distributors. Now, I happen to be part of a team, um, a team of women, and we collaborate. And I collaborate with other friends and I collaborate with distributors on different teams. I love that and I love collaborating and I love sharing ideas. I have learned and grown so much through that. However, 
there does come a point where you need to set yourself apart as a distributor so that people choose to shop with you and to continue to come back shopping with you. Um, I have had experiences where people have come to me or they have found me and they'll say something like, oh, I used to shop with an X distributor, but that distributor wasn't very helpful or that distributor didn't do much for me. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is there was nothing that that distributor was doing to keep that customer coming back. And I'm not saying like we're, we're not in the business of stealing customers, but we are in the business of creating an experience for our customers that they want to come back and shop with us, right? They want to come back for more. They want to um, experience what we're offering on our page. So we don't want to be doing what everybody else is doing, right? Because then that isn't necessarily something that is going to attract them to, to us, right? And you've heard it a, a lot, I'm sure. Um, people shop with you because they like, know, and trust you, okay? That's nothing new. But that is something that you can control, right? You can control that they like you. They can control, you can control that they trust you. And part of that is really good customer service. Really, really good customer service. So when I get somebody um, who they ordered on my website, I do a ton of orders on websites. I also fulfill a lot of orders too, but right now I'm probably at half and half. Um, and I get somebody who has ordered something on my website and y'all, Senecare has amazing customer service, first of all. So you can, you can trust Senecare is going to take care of them. But I always double check and I'll, they'll say, hey, I got this brow cream. It's, um, or no, no, or like I'm missing something from my order. You know, what do I do? I'll say, go on to Senechat. And then I always say, let me know if they took care of it for you. Because ultimately it's me that is responsible for their order because they shop through my site. Now, personally, I know, well, I didn't do anything except direct them to my website. That was Senegens packing and shipping that. So that's on Senegens, which is true. But ultimately, I am the one who is the face of this, of Senegens to them. So I want to make sure that that problem got solved. So I always follow up with them later and I'll say, hey, did Senechat take care of it for them? And 98% of the time, they did. And they're wowed by that customer service. Now, if you're doing most of the packing for yourself and you're packing and shipping out of your home, then that's on you. So make it easy for them to exchange products. Make it easy for them to return. Don't make them feel bad about it, right? Because we have a three-month guarantee that if they return it within three months, then they, get, they have, can have 100% um, refund or exchange. And so, so let's stay true to that, right? Because that's part of, that's one of the things that sets us apart from other companies. So let's really hone in on that. Um, your VIP group is a really great place for you to set yourself apart. So make it fun, make it exciting, make it your face. They are there because of you, probably because you invited them there. So show your face in your VIP group as much as you possibly can. To me, that is my storefront. And when I show up to that, I am telling them I'm open for business. Okay. So I am going to be in my VIP group every single day. It's going to be my face every single day. Even if I'm not live, I am going to be there. Um, packaging. Oh, you guys, I, packaging is not my favorite thing to do. I will tell my customers it is my favorite thing to do. It is not my favorite thing to do, but they are going to love opening their packages for me because there's going to be treats. There's going to be samples. There's going to be a thank you card. There's going to be confetti. And there's also going to be their order. But you guys, that's only one part of their package for me. It's going to be an experience that they want to come back, back for again and again. Um, I offer special events for my group all the time. And that's more than just like a content week. A content week can feel overwhelming to people sometimes. So we offer um, VIP events once a month. We used to call them mega parties where they get to hear from other people than me. And that's a service that we provide. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of coordination. It's a lot of time. But it's a service we're providing for them so that they can learn from other people than just me. And that's, that's really good customer service. Um, I love to do um, messenger sales. I love to do free gifts with purchase. 
Um, I love to do challenges where, you know, they can share their selfies, ways to incorporate them into that VIP group so that they feel part of it. And um, that's just, th those are just some examples of ways that you can set yourself apart. But don't feel like you have to do what everybody else is doing. Now, do what, the, what, what people are doing that's working, but figure out a way to do it that's your own. Okay, so I want, I want to end with this. You've probably heard some things where you're like, I could do that. I could start doing that. I could start doing that for sure. Like, I could incorporate that when I hop off this video. But there's also probably some things that you heard that you were like, mm, I'm not going to be able to do that. Mm. Oh, no, nope. her VIP group is too big. It's not like mine. I can't do that. And you've immediately like put up a wall where you're like, I'm never going to be X. Okay. When I started, I never thought that five years later, this is where I would be like ever in a million years. But I was incredibly consistent and passionate about these products. And those are two things that you can be as well. Everyone can be consistent and everyone can be passionate about these products because you wouldn't have signed up if you weren't already passionate about them. So my question for you is, do you want it bad enough to make some changes? It's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to need to be pushed out of your comfort zone. But how bad do you want it? And I ask that to girls on my team all the time. Are you willing to do what it takes to bring your sales up? Are you willing to do what it takes to get that party train going again? Are you willing to do what it takes to expand your network and get new faces and get new lemons? If you haven't heard that analogy yet, it's a good one. But you're going to have to do the work and you're going to have to be incredibly consistent and passionate about it while you do it. But set your, set your goals high, but then be willing to put in the work. Okay. All right. So I will go through after I hop off and I will um, look at questions because I definitely went over what the time I was intended to, <laughs> but um, hopefully there are some things that you can go apply right now immediately. And I encourage you to hop off and go do it because y'all, you can sell without a following. All right. Thanks guys.